Yu-Gi-Oh! fan mail. Let's do it. These two are both from Eric Hopkins. Eric Hopkins. Let's see what he has to say. Hey, so there's a letter. There's an envelope to mail stuff back. Magician of Faith. Herald of Perfection. What is this? Read on camera if you want to. I have been a fan for a, a, a long time since about 15,000 subs, possibly earlier, about four years, and I have always enjoyed the fresh comedic aspect to your videos. So since you're starting to do fan mail videos, I am happy to send you cool stuff that I personally think you will find interesting or useful to you for not only content but hopefully you get personal use out of it as well. I also want to personally thank you for everything you do for and for your content. I have been through a lot of personal stuff the last few years and it really helped opening up YouTube and immediately having a smile from on, on my face from watching one of your videos, just taking away some of the stress from my day week. I, I'm glad I could do that, dude. Like, I leave out everything um, real world um, related. It's it's not, even if I, I even if I did care, I still wouldn't have it in my Yu-Gi-Oh channel. It's irrelevant. Everything's irrelevant to a Yu-Gi-Oh channel. This is Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> so overall, I appreciate you as a person and as a content creator, and that it will be easier to watch you grow and su succeed with all of your future endeavor endeavors with the channel as well. As wish you success with all of your personal endeavors as well. Best regards. P.S. If you would be willing to sign the Heralds, I'd be so happy. Eric Hopkins, aka possibly your biggest fan. Dude, thank you so much for writing. Like, this is this is awesome. This is so awesome. I will definitely sign these. So, like, these are for me? What? Dude, why? <laughs> like, you've already sent me cool stuff. This is the same guy that sent me that cyber jar that I opened the fan mail series with. Dude, you're a madman. You're a freaking madman. I will absolutely sign your heralds though and send them back. But like, dang, you're crazy. You, you're crazy, man. <laughs> Speed Duel, Magician of Faith. Pot of Avarice, yeah, dude, these are awesome. L.O.B. right, Geki? That is awesome. Tune Table of Contents, wow. Dude, a place in a Tune Table, what in the world? Yeah, these are freaking awesome. Wow, these tune tables are so cool. Wow. Yes, dude. Thank you so much. This is awesome. Yes, a Magician of Faith always comes in handy. I mean, even though this is a Speed Duel Magician of Faith, uh, Goat players don't care if you play Speed Duel cards and stuff in the format. So, yeah, this is Magician of Faith. Uh, let me find a marker. <laughs> All right. Herald of Perfection, all first ed from the Shining Darkness. Wow. Dude, I need to make, yeah, I need to update my Herald deck. That is on the to-do list. I have um, a few a few builds for this deck, you know, of course, one of them with the, um, you know, Fluffle Engine, and I have another one with Shine Balls and, you know, all that stuff. Um, I still really like this deck. This is still go first and win the deck. Herald of Perfection. It's really fun trying to perfect the deck that I'm, you know, like I'm always joking about. While those are drying off, let's open up your other envelope here. I'm terrible at this. I should probably get the letter opener. <laughs> There's no letter in that one. Just, it's just a Sinister Serpent. I think he just was like, here, yo, here's, you, you play goats, here's the Serpent. I, yeah, I think that's what happens. Yeah, <laughs> dude, thank you so much. Um, yeah, uh, these uh, always come in handy. Um, I have, um, I don't know how many uh, serpents I have left uh, in spare. Um, I just traded a Japanese one to uh, Sam, I know that. But, um, no, these are always good for the goat binders. Um, anytime I come across a new player that wants to get into goat format, I have, you know, at least, uh, at all times, I have at least two uh, dedicated binders just full of goat stuff. You know, serpents, uh, you know, uh, graceful charities, pots of greed, you know, uh, all the staples, all the staples. I mean, and all the in-between cards, too. All kinds of stuff. Berserk gorillas. I mean, all kinds of junk. So this is going to be in one of those binders until I put it in a deck or, you know, somebody... Uh, wants to build goats and this is my spare serpent that I give them so they can have a sinister serpent <laughs> You know or trade them or whatever dude. Thank you so much Eric. You're the man I'll get these back over to you. All right. This one is from Josh Kohler Josh Kohler if I can get it open. Oh finally dude that was taped so much All right, what do we got? We got some oh no <laughs> Do we have beans? What is this? No, there's more beads. Why are there more beads? I'm in 
danger, guys. I'm in danger. I freaking retweeted this. I saw that there were beans buyouts. And then this keeps happening. Why? Why? Guys, why? He's all Jerry Bean. No, I don't need any more beer. Ah, no. This is really cool though. Beans versus Moth. <laughs> this is really cool. Like it's like a booster box, uh, you know, art. Six plus years, five cards per pack. You know, it's, <laughs> it's booster box art. That's awesome. All right, let's read this. Oh, oh gosh, I'm, I'm scared. Hello, Yugi Nono. I am back with some more custom booster packs. Yes, dude, I remember you. I have been waiting a long time for you to reopen a P.O. box. I made these custom packs before you took a break from YouTube, and I never lost hope and held on to them until now. Dude, I, like, I was going to come back to Yu-Gi-Oh! eventually, always. It was just like I needed to do other stuff or take a break from it. I was getting... Um, I was becoming way too in high demand in the Yu-Gi-Oh! community at the time for my taste at the time Let's put it that way everything in the custom booster box is yours to keep I hope you enjoy opening the custom boosters this time instead of the boosters containing fake cards They have real cards with a little bit of fan art added to it. That's really cool I was also wondering do you think mental induction is a is real or fake? I will look at it um, I think it is real because it has the shiny thing in the corner and well then again I, the thing is though I have a fake card that is really convincing it has that shiny box in the corner too I can show you guys but anyways and uh, the back looks fine but the font and the name and effect looks fake and the stars look funny and then yeah we'll take a look at it I'm curious to see what you think I came across a card a, a card called Yado car, yeah Yado Kara that card's bad <laughs> And I don't know if you have seen the card before, but I thought it is real bad, <laughs> if not worse than Pot of Generosity. Yeah, no, that card's really bad. I think I actually made a bad cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! video, and that card is on there. It's it's not a good card. One last thing, my brother was uh, wondering if you can make Konami give us U-Bell support. Possibly. I haven't thought about that. Wasn't there a guy, like, years ago that made nothing but U-Bell videos on YouTube, though? Is he still around? Is that guy still around? Because uh, there was a guy that did that, I remember. P.S. Sorry for writing a long letter. No, it was fine. I almost forgot to ask for a shout out. My YouTube channel is Shadow Knight Gaming. Shadow Knight Gaming, guys. No, it's fine. Write it whatever you want. Like I explained, though, not everything may get shown on camera, but. Uh this is all bean stuff. <laughs> Thank you so much for writing, dude. Thank you so much for these cards. Um, yes, this mental induction. This is what you were talking about. This is not real. Yeah, this is not a real card. And you, you are, you are exactly right. It's the stars and it's the font at the top that gives it away. But yeah, that is not a real card. The back is pretty convincing, but you could tell on the like the corners of the back and uh, that it's that it's not real. Yeah, the corners on the back will give it away. See how like the colors are a little off and stuff, and it looks off. Um, but yeah, that's a that's a pretty convincing backing. Um, convincing because the uh, you know sticker down here in the corner. But yeah, definitely a fake card. But yeah, Yadu Karu, guys. When this card is changed from defense position to attack position, you can place any number of cards from your hand at the bottom of your deck in any order you desire. That's it. You just. You just put cards back into your deck. But <laughs> it has to like be switched in position to do that too. Like, I mean, if this thing was on summon and did that, that could, you know, that could be useful in a deck. Like a deck where you don't want a whole lot of cards in your hand or, you know, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. Like just, it, it'd probably be useful in something. But yeah, this card is, uh, yeah, not very good. No, why do we have so many beans? Uh, effect on back, effect on back. <laughs> you can only activate this card if you control one face up Jerry Beans Man. Destroy all cards your opponent controls, then randomly discard one card from your opponent's hand. And if you do, send all copies of that card from the deck to the graveyard. <laughs> and then a mystery shell dragon behind it. That's busted. <laughs> oh my gosh. Perfect counter. Perfect counter. Activate this card when a larvae moth you control is selected as an attack target in the battle phase. Then banish the top 10 cards of your opponent's deck and draw two cards. <laughs> what in the world? What is this card? An Alexandrite Dragon. Hey, all the cool, like, vanilla, like, big guys, I guess. Man, Alexandrite Dragon Super Rare is a cool looking Super Rare, though. But moving on, moving on. Uh, what, what are these? 
No, there's the Jerry Beans man. No, Mr. Clown. This, hey, this is good for the collection, though. <laughs> so I have two binders, guys. Hey, my son. <laughs> but um, I have uh, two binders, guys, and one of them is completely filled with larvae moth. And the other one is leftover larvae moths, cocoon of evolutions, and all of the bigger moths, the great moths, the perfectly ultimate great moths, uh, you know, all that stuff, the corrosive scales and all that stuff that I got uh, support for later. Why is the beans here? <laughs> it's just, oh gosh, there's going to be more where that came from. Hey, speaking of larvae moth, monster egg, my magical ghost, very cool. So no, uh, no, no more beans so far. Hey, ah! <laughs> but dude, dude, the Island of Misfit binder. I don't have that binder put together anymore. I took all the uh, random cards that you guys sent me from um, Island of Misfit binder. I took all the larvae moths, petite moths, all that stuff, put them in their own binders, and I think I took the rest of the cards and I have them up in a box up there, just full of like random cards. So there's like a random, it's gonna be Island of Random Yu Gi Oh box. <laughs> That's what it's gonna be, not Island of Misfit binder. It'll be Island of Misfit Yu Gi Oh box. <laughs> There's something like that, and I can dig that out here in a little bit, or you know, next fan mail and show you guys. But man, I need to make, uh, I need to get another binder though, just for Jerry Beans, because now thinking about it, I, I'm gonna have, just from this, I can tell I'm gonna have more, more Jerry Beans. I know I have a box full up there, like, like not full, but like, I'll, there's a box up there with a lot of Jerry Beans. Let's put it that way. Uh, I have a lot of work to do. <laughs> but petite bot Jerry Beans. There's so many Jerry Beans. But like, hey, mystical shine ball. Fan art, fan arted, that's pretty cool. But, uh, gosh. And I'm also noticing there's Naturia beans in here. Why are they, they're on, the Naturia beans have allied with the Jerry beans. No, God, ah, okay. So yeah, the silver lining here is that I'm getting a lot of larvae moth cards. That's pretty cool. He took all the, the shine balls and stuff and like drew on them. <laughs> but um, yeah, <laughs> he made this one a basketball. <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, I, uh, I'm, look, I'm gonna, hey, is, is that a Pokeball or like an Electrode? Yeah, it's gonna be like an Electrode. Look, I can hear the beans. They're starting to, they're starting to colonize here. All right, I get it. You got your laughs. They'll be taken care of soon. All right, I, I suppose, hey, Cyber Dragon. I suppose I will, you know what? I can't trap the beans in the larvae moth binder this time. I think that uh, we're gonna be dealing with a way heftier infestation if there's Revenge involved and a lot of beans. So guys, I'm about to figure out how to um, overcome All of these beans. Yeah, these are pretty much the same card sandwich. Hey, that's really cool Sandwich is a really cool card cyber dragon core very awesome. All right. This one's Kelton <laughs> He's been bugging me about fan mail for a long time. He's been really excited to see it come back So uh, let's see what he sent me <laughs> read first also second is the short letter. Okay I think that's everything in that Read second, okay, read first, read second. Also second is short letter, okay. So first, this is, uh, whoa, this is from a t February 2018 letter I found on my computer, which I never got to send out to you because it had canceled fan mail Mondays at the time. Yes, and I had actually quit Yu-Gi-Oh at the time. Uh, so yeah, man, that was a long time ago. Either that or I forgot you did see this letter. Um, dear, uh, I mean, I, we could see if I saw it. I still have, <laughs> I still have all of them. But uh, dear Yugi no no aka Daddy Beans, aka Beans Daddy, aka Army General of the Beans Army. I, what? AKA Jesus of Beans. Mighty Beans are on the scene. Mighty Beans. They hip. They hop. Yugi No No knows what he's got. Mighty Beans. Oh my gosh. Why? <laughs> Jerry Beans. Jerry Beans. The best. I, I feel like you guys just like write this stuff to see what I'll say on camera. Like this is the teleprompter or something. But moving on. The more you collect, the more you, the, the more the loot. The better the loot, the, the better your fan mail. Let Jerry Beans. Beans man be the holy grail. Anyways, did you like my outsiders PowerPoint? I sent you I did um, I, I, I did a project on that when I was in like in middle school or something as well It's been about two or especially because I'm from Oklahoma. It's kind of like, you know Mandatory writing at some point if you're from Oklahoma. Anyways, it's been about two to three weeks since I since I last wrote you. My calculus one class was on track to down, downward spiral, so I recently withdrew from the class. Wow, what a time! Yeah, that is a time lapse. <laughs> the book is going good. Still, kind of developing characters whenever I have time. Um, 
be like working on the book. Did you ever finish it? Um, also, I have been listening and jamming out to some of the uh, Beatles album CDs. Uh, there, I mean, there's not, I don't think there's a bad Beatles album. Like, I, I, I was always more of a Stones guy, but like, uh, all their music's great. I mean, the same thing with the Stones, but anyways. Um, question time. Have you seen the anime uh, My Hero Academia? Have you seen the new Black Panther movie? Actually, neither. <laughs> no, and that's like way dated. No, and I, I still haven't seen that movie. The, uh, yeah, yeah, and Chadwick Boseman did pass away in 2020, but like, you know, I have not seen um, either of those still. But uh, Yugi Nono, you were wrong in defeating the Jerry Beans of, no, I was not. Uh, you, you try having those in your house. Anyways, you have, you may have defeated the Jerry Beans Man King, but little did you know the king ha was has married to a queen. And with the secret help of Eugene, the Queen of Jerry Beans escaped unharmed. And in addition, Eugene and Queen of Jerry Beans had a child. Well, this isn't good. Ah! This is not good. This is not good, guys. This is not looking good. Oh, no, no. No, for March of 2018, you know, I am Sir you, Jerry. Yo, oh, man, this is ah no. This has been this has been in the works. This really has been in the works. How did I not know about this? How did I not notice that there was a Jerry Queen? No, there's gonna be more beans now. Uh, you have killed my biological father, Yugi No No. You are to become trapped inside the body of a bean for the rest of eternity with the help of Papa Eugene. I activate my spell card, Yugi Jerry No No Beans Fusion. I fuse Yugi No No in the corpse of the dairy. What is happening? Why? It's like, no! <laughs> uh, what is this? Why? Why? Why am I trapped in a bean? What is this? What is this? <laughs> oh my gosh, why? Why? The crucifixion of Yugi no no and the bean spilled. <laughs> Why? <laughs> this card's name is treated as Jerry Beans Man while on the field or in the graveyard. This fusion summon card cannot be negated. When this card is special summoned, special summon as many Jerry Beans Man monsters from your hand, deck, and graveyard are banished, including at least one shatter foil Jerry Beans Man. <laughs> if this card was it were to go to the graveyard, banish it instead. When the life of, then the life of Yugi No No will descend into Jerry Beans Man Heaven. <laughs> what? Jerry Beans Man, you control cannot be targeted or destroyed by your opponent's card effects. That is busted. Oh no. Fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or fuel as fusion material. Ugh. Oh, but like, I guess I get... Uh, uh. <laughs> so, when you were hiding in here during the first Beans invasion, you were actually putting the moves on the queen? Hey, I was scared of the Beans too! She, she seduced me! She's a Bean! How does that... You know what? Right now, I would get angry, call you a simp, but talking to a girl is actually a lot of progress for you. So, I'm gonna let this one slide. Hey, how did you find out? That's embarrassing. Kelton told me. Who? Who's Kelton? How did he find out? Probably because we're followed by Force Focus all the time. Oh yeah, these things. You really aren't mad though? Nah, from the sounds of it, she knew I was gonna win the whole time and was just using you as a way out. So she's coming back for revenge now, huh? Yep, and apparently her beans army has joined forces with Naturia beans. Wait, so you really aren't scared or even just a little bit mad or, or anything? <laughs> nah, I've never had a reason to power up to 100%, not even for the last invasion. This time around, I'll probably just trap them all in their own binder. That should get rid of them for good. Their own binder? Wait a minute, what happens if you have that and the Larvae Moth Binder? The more cool Yu-Gi-Oh stuff I get, the more powerful I get without actually having to power up. I'm lazy. Wait, so you can power up all the way instead of having all of these errands to do? Why don't you just do that? Actually, I can't. Just because I have a 100% potential doesn't mean that I can get there. I wouldn't be bothering with the Larvae Moth Binders of Ultimate Protection if I was, uh... In shape, let's just put it that way. So really, you're just procrastinating and making up adventures all the time because, because I you... can! Oh yeah. And uh... And because I'm lazy. And out of shape. Subscribe! <laughs>